the side of the room. Coach, do you want a statement or do you want to start with Coach? My statement is short. When I go in games, I hear turning the ball over 28 times. Tom, a lot of people have said, a lot of other coaches have said that no matter how good your scout team is, it's still difficult to replicate what Illinois does defensively in practice. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. Illinois played damn good. And that was unexcusable the way we turned the ball over. That was, I give credit to Indiana, I give credit to Illinois, but I'm not. But we deserve blame. That's number one. There was no, it wasn't quite as chaotic as last year. Um, I've never seen uh, a player or two play that poorly. I mean, you have 17 turnovers the first half, you don't even give yourself a chance to, to get in the game. And, and you battle all the way back, and you know it wasn't fatigue this time either. I mean, it wasn't one of those games that was going up and down. There's a lot of stoppage, and we're up three and three, two. The crowd's counting it out, and we don't. We let a guy go right in there and pass it to him, and he gets a three-point play. And and then late we uh, it's tied up, and they all hits that three. That's an automatic hard yard switch. So I'm going to give a lot of credit to Illinois. The fans were great. Um, Brad's done a very good job. They play hard. But um, the turnovers, I, I can give them half of them. I'll give them 12, 14. But, and I'm not giving them 28 up. I mean, that is just complete ridiculousness on our part. Tom, you mentioned the defense. Do you think that was the biggest issue with Cash and how he played, especially in the first half? Or is he still The defense? Their defense is more sporting. And not to be a jerk, what did you think? Did you find the passes? I'll uh, ditto to the media. I know. That was good. I, I, I would agree with you. Is there a left there, Mike Paul? Tom, but uh, along those lines, do you think Cassius is, is you guys just sort of searching for things a little bit right now and, and trying maybe to do too much and figure out where you guys were a couple weeks ago? No, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think, uh, um, I don't know. I'm going to have to watch the film. I, I, I've just never seen some of the things that I saw today happen. And uh, um, unexplainable. Um, but, you know, we shoot, what, 92% from the line? <laughs> After we shot, what, 10, 15? And uh, Gorgie's the second guy that... You know, 50% shooter, you had a couple 30 percenters at Indiana, and he had shots, and, you know, that's that's what should happen. I mean, people are going to get up for us, and they should get up for us. And uh, they all played us in most aspects. I guess you got to give us a little credit for the comeback. Not easy to do on the road with a, with a very nice, good crowd. But, uh, you know, once we started running a few things, and our, our people, and I just was shocked on how... You guys play. Can I hear the right one? No, uh, with, with the lineup shuffling with Nick out on a bench and, and Tillman in, did you feel like you got what you wanted to see out of X? Well, you know, that, so the, you know, there's no quarterback controversy. I, I did not like the way that um, that Nick or or uh, Aaron cut out in the last game, and that's an effort related thing. And, and so, you know, we were. Really, I was going to play Nick the same amount of minutes. It's just that and back in there, he struggled some defensively. Uh, uh, you know, their guy just, the first half, he did a great job. Second half, he didn't do as good a job. And, and Aaron, uh, you know, I thought Kyle uh, getting a little healthier. But as we saw, a couple big plays, getting that one block. He should have just pumped it, got a foul. And had a great look on the air ball. It just happened, you know. So, uh it wasn't really shuffling that I planned to stay with it. I don't know how long I'll stay with it. I might replace all five of them because I didn't like the, uh, I just didn't like the way we, we started out. Uh, um, and I'm just concerning. Here on the left. You, you said the the, t the three by AO was an automatic switcher. Is that both of them? What, what, what did you see on those those two plays? It was cash is supposed you to switch know better than I'm not going to call out a player right now because I do that when we win. Because then I can, but when we lose, I don't call players. But it will, you know, you watch the game. <laughs> um, 
it was it, it was a shame. I mean, a couple of those plays were just just you can't do those things and win at this level. Well. I mean, we didn't win. We'll hear the right. Tom, you mentioned at Indiana the other day you could you kind of sense it coming. That's the way they practice, and that was it. Was it different today? Was it more of a surprise? Well, it was. Well, no. I mean, uh, you know, now, now we have a game like Indiana, and then we. You know, we try to do a little something. You had to take a day off Sunday, and then you practice one one day of prep for this team. I think this gentleman said it right that, you know, it's not an easy prep just because of the pressure they put on. And you know, we didn't we just didn't get to do much with the with the preparation part of it. So I didn't sense that we weren't ready to play. I sensed that last week and in, in that game a little fat and sassiness on our part, but I didn't sense that this time. It just Guys that are normally playing really well just did not play well. Is, and, and the follow-up is: Is it hard right now in the midst of three in a row to kind of say, "Well, you know, it's going to be some rough stretch." What's bizarre for me, and thank God for the Super Bowl, so I could watch the Patriots lose to Miami and then bounce back or something. But what's bizarre is, I guess we're in the midst of another three out of four on a road or four out of five. I thought we went through that already. I mean, it's been. Uh, it's been a tough part of the schedule for us, and uh, and you know Illinois has been playing better. Um, the crowd, like I said, was great, and uh, played a lot of guys. They just uh, the energy level was good. I, I thought our our turnovers caused us to be in a funk. I mean, you can't turn the ball over on junior high plays, and we did that. Last and time. some of it is don't take nothing away from them. Some of it is. Their pressure, but some of it, as you stated, was ridiculous. Last question. Tom, um, Illinois hasn't had a player like I assume who come in like this in a long time. Just what sticks out to you about him as a freshman guard? Well, he, he, he took the two big shots when it was on the line, you know, and uh, um, made those two big threes. He's not a great three point shooter. I think he's shooting 29, 30%. That kind of happens to us already, <coughs> but uh, between Gorgie hitting four of six, shooting 50%, and Ayo. Taking, you know, those big threes. I don't know what he shot for the game. Four of eight from we got these incredible. I'm gonna tell Brad, you know, these incredible NCA things that he can't read. What was he? Four of eight from three. Four eight of fourteen. Four of eight from three. He's shooting thirty percent. You know, and I didn't think anyone was a ready shoot shot. Uh, so give him credit. He made some big plays and big shots, and I. I think he is a very talented, good player, and uh, they've done a nice job with him. Thank you. Right. Thanks, guys. Good.